Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff, and I am here at the Intel booth at CES 2018, where I just got to demo the Vive Pro headset and the HTC wireless adapter. Um, actually, I didn't get to demo the wireless adapter, but I did get to try on the Vive Pro headset. Uh, for those who haven't seen the press release yet, the Vive Pro features a 78% increase in screen resolution, up from the 1200p per eye up to 2880 by 1600 overall for OLED display. Uh, it really helped with the readability of text and, uh, and distant objects. That's one of the things that a lot of people complain about with the Vive, is anything that's not right next to you, it seems to be a little blurry. This was still blurry way out in the fringes of my vision, but uh, overall it was a much crisper experience and really an instant upgrade for the Vive. Uh, There's no pricing or release date announced yet for the Vive Pro, but uh, I personally hope it's coming soon and I'm certainly going to be a buyer. Uh, the wireless uh, adapter for the Vive is backwards compatible with the original Vive as well as the new Vive Pro. Uh, the only cable you have is a cable going down to a waste pack for the battery. Everything else is wireless. Um, there's been no information on battery life as of yet. We do know the Vive wireless adapter is using Intel Ygig technology, which is a 60 gigahertz wireless video transmission that promises near zero latency to the Vive headset. Uh, I, again, I didn't get a demo of that one in particular, but uh, early reviews from here, people here at the booth are very, very positive. And uh, they've been running without a hitch here all morning. So that should be released sometime in Q3 this year. Uh, as always, stay tuned to Craft Computing for more, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, it promises... Instant.